Top 10 Things Revealed by Melting Glaciers and Ice Rising global temperatures are causing glaciers and ice to melt faster than they can refreeze, which reveals things that have been hidden for centuries or even millennia. Scientists have recently found that glacier melting is occurring at an alarming rate. Even though glaciers are said to be the source of the world's fresh water, the current rate at which melting ice is pouring into the sea is cause for alarm. Scientists have warned that the world is rapidly losing its ice due to the dramatic melting of glaciers, which has a significant impact such as major flooding and biodiversity loss. Here is a list of the 10 most amazing discoveries. As the world's temperature warms, ice patches, glaciers, and permafrost have begun to reveal their hidden histories. As a result, the study of artifacts is found in glaciers and ice patches, known as glacial archaeology, has recently gained popularity. One of the most well-known and significant of these archaeological discoveries is Altsi, the Iceman, which was discovered in the Alps in 1991. However, many additional examples of bodies, artifacts, landscapes, and even lethal viruses are discovered beneath the ice. Ice patches, glaciers, and permafrost around the planet are starting to reveal their secret histories as the climate warms. However, many additional examples of bodies, artifacts, landscapes, and even lethal viruses are discovered beneath the ice. We present to you the top 10 things revealed by melting glaciers and ice. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more stuff before we continue. Click the bell icon to sign up for new alerts. Have you already executed it? Let us move on. Number 10. The Missing Couple in Switzerland Marceline and Francine Dumoulin went to milk their cows on August 15, 1942 in a high alpine area close to Chandelin in southwest Switzerland. They disappeared without a trace. When the couple went missing, their seven children were in suspense about what had happened to their parents. As the search for the couple's whereabouts intensified, the siblings were divided up and placed with various local families. Ski employees discovered the Dumoulins' immaculately preserved bodies on the retreating San Fluron Glacier in July 2017, putting an end to the mystery. The clothes the victims wore made it immediately clear that they were from the 1940s, and identity documents enabled investigators to identify the pair. Police hypothesized that they may have fallen into a crevasse and been concealed by snow and ice for over 75 years before being discovered by warming air on a receding glacier. After waiting for their parents for 75 years, Marceline Erdry Dumoulin, their youngest daughter, claimed that her siblings never stopped trying to find them. She said, I can say that after 75 years of waiting, this news brings me a deep sense of serenity. Number 9. 1,000 Year Old Forest in Alaska Over a thousand years ago, an old forest was discovered in gravel as the Mendenhall Glacier near Juneau, Alaska advanced. This flow of glacier melt was composed of icy water and gravel. Most trees were not destroyed and some remained standing when the glacier engulfed the forest because of the gravel's cushioning effect. As the glacier has retreated over the past 50 years, the trees and stumps have gradually come into view. More recently, however, as the melt has accelerated, shrinking at a rate of 170 feet per year since 2005, more of this old woods has come into view. As of now, tests by the University of Alaska Southeast Professor of Geology and Environmental Science Program coordinator Kathy Connor have shown that the trees, some of which still have their bark, range in age from 1200 to an astounding 2350 years old. Archaeologists have been working to identify and date the trees. Number 8. Iron Age Horse in Norway Iron Age horse bones were discovered in September 2013 at a place more than 6,500 feet above sea level in Norway's mountains. Archaeologists believe the horse, which was discovered with well-preserved horse excrement and a horseshoe, proves that humans in the Iron Age used these animals to transport cargo over mountains close to Oppland, Norway, at a high altitude. As glaciers and ice patches melt, archaeologists are discovering more and more artifacts. However, they are in a race against time because the artifacts are perfectly preserved while they are locked in the ice, but as soon as the ice melts, they are at risk of deterioration from contact with the open air. A 1700-year-old woolen tunic that was miraculously well preserved and had been lovingly repaired by its Iron Age owner was also rescued from melting ice in the area earlier in 2013. Number 7. Incan Child Sacrifice Victims in Argentina on the Lulai Laico volcano in Argentina, three extremely well-preserved frozen bodies of Incan child sacrifice victims were discovered in 1999. 
The bodies of three children, a boy aged 13 and a girl aged 4 or 5, were discovered at the height of 22,000 feet and are regarded as the best preserved ice mummies ever discovered. Researchers have made it possible to conduct several experiments that have improved our understanding of Capacocha, the Incan practice of infant sacrifice. According to Spanish chronicles, the Incas would choose gifted or attractive infants to be sacrificed to the gods to mark significant occasions or respond to natural disasters. Researchers found that the 13-year-old had been badly sedated with coca leaves from which cocaine is generated and alcohol by looking at her hair. She was known as the Lulai Laiko Maiden because of her peaceful demeanor. Her fine attire, healthy diet, and exquisitely braided hair, according to historians, are signs that she was well cared for in the year before her passing. All three victims had drug traces in their hair indicating that they were highly sedated before being transported to their lofty tombs in the volcano, where they most likely succumbed to cold 500 years ago. The mummies were discovered just in time before higher summer temperatures would have harmed them, according to nearby neighbors. Number 6. World War I Soldiers in Northern Italy The tiny village of Peo in modern-day Northern Italy was drawn into the struggle of World War I in 1915 as the highest settlement of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Here, at elevations more than 6,500 feet, brave men fought in the conflict that came to be known as the White War. Specialized mountain troops were enlisted due to the hostile terrain and the bitter cold. The Italians had the Alpini, distinguished by their feathered caps, and the Austrians had the Kaiserschützen. At the time, the ferocious struggle up in the mountains mostly went undetected by the rest of the world. However, as the ice in the area melts today, archaeologists and historians are discovering more information about the incredible bravery displayed by individuals engaged. Many items, including a touching unmailed love letter to a girl named Maria, troops as helmets and weapons, and, of course, dead have been discovered from the melting glacier. Two young Austrian soldiers, just 17 and 18 years old, shot in the head and buried in a crevasse in the Piscina glacier by their comrades, had their mummified bodies discovered from the ice in 2012. In 2013, 200 individuals from the Peo area attended a burial conducted by the community for the deceased couple. Number 5. Arctic Mummies Wrapped in Copper in Siberia An adult and child's mummified bodies were recently discovered beneath the thawing permafrost near Sailkart, Siberia, on the Arctic Circle. The bodies were discovered in Zeleny Yar, an old necropolis that has been a working archaeological site since 1997. More than 100 graves have been found nearby, according to researchers. These most recent mummies consist of a tall adult at least 5 feet 7 inches tall covered in birch bark and canvas, and a baby estimated to be 6 months old. The bodies are believed to be from the Middle Ages, and archaeologists hope that the future investigations may shed light on these little-known Arctic peoples. Number 4. Anthrax Released from Permafrost in Siberia the Yamal Peninsula in Siberia's permafrost was thawing due to a hot spell in 2016, with temperatures reaching 86 Fahrenheit. This released certain undesirable germs back into the environment. The thawing permafrost exposed to the anthrax infected reindeer's body, dispersing the living spores into the atmosphere. A 12-year-old kid died due to the sickness, which had not been seen in the area in 75 years. It first afflicted local herds of reindeer before spreading to at least 20 people. Scientists are also worried that additional dormant diseases could be released again if permafrost warming causes them to lose their frozen status. Future outbreaks of the Spanish flu, smallpox, and bubonic plague could occur as the shallow graves containing the victims of earlier epidemics progressively thaw. Number 3. New Islands Uncovered in Greenland Between 1999 and 2014, many new islands emerged from the ice in the Steenstrup and Kier glaciers in northwest Greenland. The Steenstrup Glacier has receded 6.21 miles over the past 60 years, exposing numerous islands along the coast and necessitating the redirection of maps. Glaciers naturally advance and retreat in cycles over time. However, Nichols College Glacier researcher Mari Pelto believes that the current pace and magnitude of the retreat have shown an acceleration because of global warming. More land masses buried under the ice for countless years may become visible if the ice keeps melting. Number 2. Ozti the Iceman A man's body was discovered in 1991 melting out of the ice. When carbon dating showed that he was older than 3300 years, scientists were astounded. 
Otzi, as he was affectionately known, fascinated scientists with the idea that new information about human cuisine, clothes, and equipment could be concealed under the ice. He was discovered in the Zal region between Italy and Austria and was named Z. Number 1. Quade Don Cinci in the Tatsenshini Alsek Park When hunters discovered a man's remains in 1999 in the Tatsenshini Alsek Park at the boundary of Yukon in British Columbia, it was a significant discovery for Canadian archaeology and First Nations history. Government representatives, the RCMP, and First Nations communities examined the site. His body was found to be the earliest set of human remains in North America that had survived the melting of the glaciers. Quade Dan Shinchi was discovered with various equipment and attire revealing details about his existence. He has 17 living relatives according to additional DNA tests. Today's video has come to an end. If you liked this video, subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. Remember to click the bell icon to get alerts when new videos are posted. I will see you in the upcoming video.